Welcome to our channel, English with NS. Hi guys, hope you are fine. This video is the second part of present indefinite tense. As we have learned in the first part, that present indefinite tense has three types of sentences, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. In the first part, we have learned about the formation and structure of affirmative sentences with examples. In today's lesson, we will learn how to make its negative and interrogative sentences. So, let's start. Formation of negative sentences. Its structure is subject plus do or does plus not plus first form of verb plus object. For example, he does not play cricket. In this example, he is a subject. Then, we use does as a helping verb. Then we add not for negation. Then comes the first form of verb, play, and the cricket is object. Let's discuss some rules of negative sentences formation. If the subject is, I, we, you, they, or any plural, we will always use, do, and verbs first form, will remain same, as in the affirmative sentence. For example, I do not like the coffee. The students do not understand the lesson. You do not need to worry. If the subject is, he, she, it, or any singular. We always use, does with first form of verb. We don't use s, es, or, ies, with the verb, as we did in affirmative sentences. For example, he does not work on weekends. She does not believe in ghosts. It does not rain very often. Now, let's discuss the formation of interrogative sentences. Its structure is do or does plus subject plus first form of verb plus object. In interrogative sentences, helping verb comes at the start. Or, we can say, helping verb is added before the subject. For example, Do you like sushi? Does he like pizza? Do they go to the market? Now, let us discuss examples of all three types of sentences of present indefinite tense. She likes spicy food. As, she is a singular, we add, s, with the verb, like. She does not like spicy food. While making its negative, we will add, does, as a helping verb with, she, and removes, s, with the verb, like. Does she like spicy food? While making interrogative, we will add helping verb at the start of the sentence. We go for a walk in the park. Here, subject, we, is plural. So we use a simple form of verb. And will not add, s, or, es, with the verb. We do not go for a walk in the park. Here, we added, do, as a helping verb. Because subject, we, is, plural. Do we go for a walk in the park? Now. Let's do some activity. Make negatives and interrogatives of given sentences. I eat breakfast every morning. She walks her dog in the park. He plays tennis on weekends. We study English at school. They work at a software company. Now, convert these negatives into affirmatives. I don't eat meat. She doesn't speak Spanish. We don't watch TV in the morning. They don't live in the city center. 
The teacher doesn't tolerate cheating in exams. In today's lesson, we have learned about how to make negative and interrogative sentences of present indefinite tense. We have already discussed formation of affirmative or simple tense in the first part of this lesson. I'm attaching the link of first part in description below. I hope you understood well. In our next lecture, we will discuss a new tense with new examples. Until then, goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please like, subscribe and also press the bell icon. Plus, don't forget to comment and share.